A new ban wave hit Counter-Strike 2, knocking out thousands of accounts, and it's not what you think. Instead of the ban wave hitting players using hacks, it seems to be for bots and case farmers who just AFK. Let's go over everything you need to know about this new ban wave. Before we continue, Clash GG is a site with a lot of game modes like dice or also case battles where you can win skins. Make your own case in seconds and then share it to your friends to see who gets the best unbox. Deposit with code WATERCS for a 5% bonus and then easily withdraw when you are done. A new ban wave has been coming in within the past 24 hours. We covered it very early in our last video right when it started and since a bunch of players have been banned. This came right after the anti-cheat update from this week but it seems to actually be something else and not cheaters which are getting hit. Now it's important when we look at these ban numbers from Convar or really anywhere else, we understand that these numbers are only from the sample size, which in this case is tracking 10.6 million players. But Counter-Strike has way more than that every month. For example, this month was over 27 million. So just because Convar says there was 150 bans yesterday, doesn't actually mean there was 150 bans. These are just the ones that are being tracked out of the small portion of the player base. Now, these 150 bands which were tracked yesterday are just continually going up. It's probably 200 by the time you are watching this video because every time I refresh, the number just gets higher and higher as more accounts get through the system. You can already see that there was a lot more accounts affected from CS stats who share this picture of the band wave and what their database has collected out of the 30 million players a whopping 500 bans for the day. You can find people saying that they got banned on different forms, and then when you go check out their profile, they will have a fresh back ban for you to see. I have seen one person say they know 300 accounts that got banned, so the numbers can't be that accurate at all, and there seems to be a lot more. How does this guy have 300 accounts that got banned? Well, we will be touching on that very soon. I was searching around and it seems like one cheat provider may have got detected, but others didn't. A bunch of cheaters were making jokes about the ban wave saying that it didn't affect them at all and nothing really changed for them. Which made me look into it a bit more because when you check out Premiere, you will notice that there is still people advertising cheats directly on the Valve in-game leaderboard. The Premiere leaderboard isn't about who can get the most skill to get to number one, it's about who can use the best hacks to then promote them in the game. Valve is just letting players submit these names and then also approving them onto the leaderboard. The fact that none of them have been banned makes it interesting towards this ban wave as it points it's directly not towards cheaters at all. Now from my recent video going over the ban wave, I saw a few comments of people saying that it was from bots and case farmers being banned and not actually cheaters. I was looking for proof on this but no one had any so I just reached a dead end. Case farmers are bots that queue up together and then kick out any normal player in the lobby so they can AFK and just get XP and earn cases. Luckily, someone admitted to being one of the players banned from this ban wave, saying it was from bots and some panel got detected, giving us some more information. Then Killa dropped this tweet saying, I have received information that a lot of these VAC bans that have been given out yesterday slash today are as a result of a detection of a boosting slash case farming panel and not necessarily any sort of overwatch or cheating ban wave. He then showed a picture of one of these sites announcements about the recent detection and that they pushed out a new version already saying we encountered difficulties with partial panel detection and then says the problem is fixed you can continue to farm safely now this also lines up with the player count numbers for the 27th being the lowest saturday we've had in a while even though we just received a huge update and then the people who said they quit cs2 have came back recent weekends were hitting 1.5 to 1.6 million player peaks but for some reason this Saturday was only 1.4 million, even though we just had this nice update a few days ago. Seems like a wild coincidence to me that the player count drops the same day of a ban wave that is supposedly hitting bot accounts. Now it's important to realize sometimes ban waves take place over multiple days and even weeks. Like in 2018, when Norris reported the December ban wave, backed over 600,000 accounts and lasted weeks with over five different band waves for the entire month. This was the biggest band wave we ever got. And usually why people say, oh, if the band wave isn't 500k, it really isn't anything. So we really can't know the full extent to everything until weeks down the line, as it will take multiple days to weeks to get all the data. 
At the moment, we still don't have Overwatch, and this ban wave seems to be directed towards the K's farming bots, which is actually a good thing. Although it's not cheaters, it's at least a step in the right direction. Of course, the bot panels are already back up and running, but it's clear Valve is at least trying to stop them, and hopefully we see a vac ban to cheaters next. There is still bans trickling in, as remember, there was literally hundreds and thousands of these bots, and they won't all be detected at once. We still don't have any further information on Overwatch and how that's working at the moment, who are the trusted partners, how to be a trusted partner, really anything. It was just mentioned in the patch notes in the game files and then since, nothing. Indicating that it most likely isn't actually live yet. This is why you probably are still running into rage hackers when you hop into a game. But I still can't find any games being cancelled for the new reason yet. I just wanted to make sure it's clear because I did talk about the ban wave when it just started, thinking it could have been for cheaters, but it was actually towards these bots instead. Hopefully we see the cheaters start getting banned next. Saying that we are still waiting for the Season 2 update. Season 1 has been going on for 7 months now, it started back in the end of September. And if we are getting 2 seasons a year, it seems like we are definitely due, it just didn't come with the last update. It would be pretty funny if Valve completely forgot they added seasons in CS2, because every time I mention it, people think I'm talking about the next Fortnite season. It was pretty surprising when we got the map pool changes, the anti-cheat update, without the new season as they could have fit it together. It is due to arrive and is expected to be the next large update within the next few weeks. There is something else which is hopefully going to arrive sometime in the future, which is a brand new retake mode. Retakes was a game mode that got added during Operation Broken Fang, and it's fun to play as a warm-up or with some friends if you maybe don't have a full team. ThorCS recently pointed out that the entire mode from config to map spawns to UI are all in the game files, saying one of the reasons it may have not released yet is because Valve is recreating the game mode with TypeScript, similar to Wingman, Arms Race, and Deathmatch. Of course, we're still waiting for Danger Zone to come for CS2, but that seems most likely to release with an operation. But of course, Valve could surprise us. The next big update for CS2 is expected to include Season 2 and anything else Valve has in store for us. So, what are your thoughts on this new ban wave? Now that it's understood that it's not for cheaters and this new ban wave was actually directed towards bots, it's definitely not the same type of ban. As when you go hop in the game, you'll probably still run into cheaters. When I check out my recent games, you'll notice back in September there was a hacker in one of my matches. But then just a few days ago on the 25th of April, I went against a hacker. I lost 6 to 13. Here's the scoreboard. The hacker went 25 and 14. And well, within just a few days, he is now already back banned. Well, he was vac banned zero days ago. Looks like he was somehow included in this ban wave. So it may also be including some cheaters as well. So subscribe for all Counter-Strike news.